So you mentioned that not long after you met Nerve that you then met Scrub. Yeah, so Scrub, he was a Syntax fan and he reached out to the boys and when he was 16 he came up, he might even be 15 at the time, um, he came and spent a week with us and um, he had lots of fun and actually that was I think the third or fourth one take we did. We had a big warehouse that we were all hanging out in. Um, it was like a shelter and one of our friends ran it and he said we could use it. So. Um, we did this ridiculous one take starting on a staircase, coming down the stairs, going around, and then there's like a little band room. Same thing, just like kind of being a bit weird and extra with it. And um, yeah, that popped off as well. That was when we had 360 share and it got a couple hundred thousand. And again, it just kept the fire going with like just being a bit out there and fun with it. And uh, after that week, Scrub was like, I want to come live up here. Oh, and that's when he actually went and moved yeah. there. And he had a brother up there, so he was able to come move up, stay with his brother and, you know, transition into living in Brisbane. Yeah, okay. And then so is it after that that the thing with Greeley and Wombat happened or was that? Uh, it was around the same time. Yeah, so we did. Scrub came up. We are all working together, Syntax album, and we started doing a bit of the Nerve Grime stuff. We had mate Web Shells, and then we had the Scrub Skinned Alive. Um, tour, not tour, but Skinned Alive um, show in Brisbane. So that was kind of one of our first times, like putting on our own ground up show, printing the CDs, putting making our own CDs for Scrub, you know, getting ready to pitch this album dropping, you know, for this fucking young weapon. Mm. And um, that was when we did like him in the doctor suit downstairs at the house. That was the same house, you know, with Nerve dead on the table. Um, and then we did this, yeah, big show. And I think around then was when we were talking to Greeley and down south and yeah, okay. and Toby was a big engine. He was a massive audio engineer at the time, always has been. Um, and he was doing little bits and pieces for the boys down there. And yeah, I think we did the scrub show and then the next month we, um, we went down. Yeah. Right. And then, so what, around what year is like 2016, 2016. Yeah. Like around. Yeah. It was 2016 was when we were really pushing it as a crew. Yeah, okay. And doing all this wild stuff. And what was no no one network umbrella yet. It was just just everyone hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> I was just a relentless video guy pushing the boys to do the weird shit. And then, because the first time I caught on to Nerve was when he dropped, I think, Snot Rocket. Yeah. Now, yeah. was that was that around the same time? Around the same time, yeah. I think that was before we went down to. Um, so, yeah, that was same period, same house. Uh, Nerve was going away to do a little farm trip. And it was his first single that we were kind of trying to push. It was just back-to-back -back bars, just fucking relentless. I remember the first time I, I seen and heard that man, I, I played it a few times because I'd never heard of him before. And I, I, no one was talking about him at that point that I was around. And I reckon after the third time I heard it, I knew. I was like, oh, man, this dude. Because then I read the credits and he made his own beats. Yeah, yeah. It was always something special about that. Yeah, like, and, no, then, yeah. and then I noticed that like, he just had a, he was just different, but he had that kind of like 90s boom bappy sort of swing. And I just knew, I was just like, oh, man, I reckon this dude is going to, yeah. you know, have a big impact at some point if he keeps going. And now fast forward the clock. Yeah, it was wild. I think he'd just done like a 21 track album for Syntax, mixed, mastered, engineered the whole thing, produced a large majority of it. Um, and then in the space of a couple of weeks, he whipped up a grime album. And then we dropped that the week before we went down to go meet everyone down in Tassie and Melbourne. Yeah, okay. So then that's around the time where I guess the, syn the Syntax junkie stuff has sort of come to an end. And then Nerve has started going on his solo. Yeah, it was one big super album kind of, you know, from when they first met to where we were getting to that point. And a lot of the boys also went off and, and focused on their own music. And yeah. So yeah, it was, it was a big mission and it was a long time coming together. And I think they all needed to just do their own thing for a bit. Mm. And then, yeah. so did you film Snot Rocket? Yeah, yeah. That was, that was really when I was still learning videos. I like always told myself I'd never be a videographer, but we're doing all this one take stuff. And it was like, it was just convenient, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, I never really thought about focusing on the technical side of it. It was more about documenting the culture and like contributing to something like a lifestyle kind of approach. And uh, that was kind of one of the ones where I was trying, trying to be a videographer. Mm. Looking back at it, it's pretty funny. Um, 
it's just me, my photo camera on on a tripod and um trying to like you know just choose little spots around the local area we used to hang out west end it was a pretty down to earth area like, yeah closest to like where we used to live and not that city vibe and yeah just p- pitched it all together yeah no nah, it's a cla- in my books man that's a classic yeah it was one of the first ones where it wasn't just like the wild one take shit mm. <laughs> The, the, the lesson. Oh, yeah.